Today, a parent from my colleague's class made a comment about how impressed she is with the kind of things students are working on in the PYP exhibition this year. I replied that I thought this was our most successful year so far. We've been really trying over the last few years to get our students to work on things that are highly personal, highly relevant to their daily lives, and therefore highly motivating. This is not an easy process, and it shouldn't be an easy process. Most things that are worth doing are inherently difficult. The process involves a great deal of soul searching. It involves teachers using a multitude of approaches to dig deep into the souls of their students to help them uncover the things they genuinely believe, care about, and are interested in. To do all of this, we have to cast away our terrible errors of the past, such as believing that our students are not capable of things, that they don't have any genuine concerns about life, or that they don't know what is important, and we must tell them. This is often called front-loading, or mistakenly referred to as tuning in. This approach is profoundly flawed and is unlikely to ever really elicit genuine inquiries from our students. Instead, we must remind ourselves that by the time of the PYP exhibition, they have been alive for 10 or 11 years. They have seen many things. They have had many experiences and sensations, and both in school and out, become increasingly aware of the world they live in. How patronizing of us to assume they come to the PYP exhibition with nothing. Our approach has been to assume they come with plenty for us to work with, and that good teaching helps them think deeply to reveal their true convictions. It's really nice when parents get what we're trying to do, when they let go of the vast and often tokenistic extravaganzas uh, that they may have seen before with PYP exhibitions. And they become really excited by the personal approach we take. 